I was trying to flash a custom recovery on this uh, beautiful little handy Galaxy S7 and I was failed twice and somehow I got uh, a solution that uh, how to flash a custom recovery on Galaxy S7 and I thought uh, I should uh, share this uh, video with you all. Like if someone is having a Galaxy S7 and want to flash a custom recovery for routing or further to flash a custom ROM then you will have to watch my video along following my procedure. Good day everyone, welcome to my channel that is Yes Tech Infomania. So you will have to boot your set uh, and uh, you will have to go in menu then settings and uh, at last you will have to go in about phones then this in software info and uh, click the build number for seven times go back and go back you're gonna see the developer options there go inside and turn on the oem unlocking enable it and also turn on the DUSB debugging click OK go back and go back to the main screen and uh, you will have to switch off your Galaxy S7 for the time being and uh, we will have to download few software drivers and recovery files so if you don't have this Samsung and write USB drivers then download this uh, file and install it on your Windows and in case if you don't have Odin 3.12.7 then click the link and download this Odin file save it to the separate folder and also unzip it and the third file will be the recovery file and you have to check your model number and download the recovery files according to your model numbers these are the four international models and uh, this uh, is uh, for the Koreans model so I was filled uh, flushing the lower uh, recovery version but uh, I got passed after flushing this 3.1.0 so I will advise you to download the 3.1.0 save it to that folder now open the folder and double click the Odin file Odin will open and then click AP and select that recovery file that 3.1.0 and after selecting it your Odin is ready to flash the recovery now you will have to boot your send in in Odin mode press the volume down key along with the home key keep pressing it and switch on your Galaxy S7 and you're gonna see your warning screen soon you will have to press the volume up key to continue and your set is ready and boots up in Odin mode now you will have to connect your cable and I always mention in my videos that use a good quality of cables and uh, my other side of cable is already connected with my laptop and when you connect your uh, S7 uh, and then you're gonna see that Odin will show you that your set is connected go to the options and check the auto reboot and uh, click the start your recovery will start flashing and uh, here is the tricky part that uh, just watch me how the way I am doing it and uh, when you see that uh, Odin is showing you pass your recovery flash now you have to remove the cable now you will have to press and keep pressing the all the four keys at the same time and uh, like power volume up volume down home key and power key keep, keep pressing it and when your screen gets off release the volume down key only and when you see a Samsung logo release the power key but do not release the other keys you will have to wait and soon you're gonna see your recovery screen on your Galaxy S7 now this was the proper way to flash a custom recovery on Galaxy S7 and you saw that I just wipe my data I don't have a data I was just checking that recovery is wiping the data or not sometimes the recovery gives errors in the red lines but it was working perfect and uh, if you want to check your recovery you always make a backup and uh, I am going to make a backup of my stock ROM and uh, you can see that uh, it is working perfectly and uh, this was the proper way of flashing a recovery on Galaxy S7. 
So if you want to flash a recovery on your Galaxy S7, so this was the proper way and you have to follow my procedure. Thank you for watching my video and if you think that my video was helpful then subscribe my channel and also like my videos. Thank you. See you again. Take a good care of yourself. Tata.